Vucevic's 3-9 Kobe. Another miss by Oladipo. Lakers lead by 13. Randall with a screen for Lynn. He lobs it up. And Randall throws it down. A surreal alley-oop that time, partner. The pass, Clark, a catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. Man, and it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. And the basket by Harris. I mean, what are you going to do defensively? He can just rise up and bang down a three ball like that and get such separation with the height advantage. Now, here is Young. He has seven. Then the pass to Bryant. Beyond the arc. They get it back. The kick out to Young. Here's Randall. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. How about the three-point shooting we're seeing so far, guys? Amazing. Well, they've also really been dialed in with their jump shot. I mean, they have not missed much from mid-range today. All free throws, good from Randall. Well, Julius Randall drafted out of Kentucky after one season. He fits that classic power forward mold. 6'9", strong, physical, great rebounder, and scores with his back to the basket. Vucevic is green on Lynn. Here's Oladipo, and he connects on the jumper. The screen did the trick. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. Lynn. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. And Randall, regarded as a good outside shooter in high school, didn't show that, though, at Kentucky. And I think he wants to show that he can be a floor spacer at the NBA level, but it may take some time. That would really help him offensively because he is a tad undersized at the power forward spot. So being able to shoot it from the perimeter will go a long way in his development. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Well, Jeremy Lin making $15 million this season, that what they call poison pill portion of his contract. That's big money, and playing in a contract year sometimes can add some pressure. So it'll be interesting to see how he responds this year. Checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. And Ben Gordon is subbed in for Peyton. The Magic trail by 15. And the Rockets trading Jeremy Lin along with the first round pick to the Lakers, essentially for cap space. And they had intended to use that money to sign Chris Bosch, but as we know, he chose Miami instead. Yep, a tough break for Houston, but a nice trade for the Lakers. They get a quality player in Lynn along with the draft pick in 2015 and in L.A. Lynn should have a decent chance to showcase his ever-growing game. Orlando on D. He dishes it to Randall. Six on the shot clock. He kicks it to Kobe. Now the pass to Randall. Shoots from the elbow. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Vucevic setting the pick for Oladipo. Young with the steal. Now in transition is Lynn. Here we go. Oh, it's been a poor defensive effort. When that ball has gone inside into the post, they've been in trouble. Yep, points in the paint clearly going against them now. 
here's Harris. Tries from 16. That is good. Harris has got five points now in the quarter. And they pulled up from mid-range more often than not. They've buried. You know, that's not always the number one option, but if the defense gives that to you, you got to take it. Davis with a screen on Harris. And Young, here we go. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Muscle flex time on that jam. He wanted these people, Steve, to hear that one. He got that right. Going up with some force. Oh, oh man, that was unreal. Mark it up. You know, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult while they're trailing. Yeah, but still, you know what? A magnificent move to the rim. Agreed. I mean, guys, I, I, look, I don't know what the score is. That's the play we're all going to remember from this game. Here's Kobe. The Magic getting the bucket. Harris on the double team. Lynn with it. Picked up by Harris. And Kobe Bryant gets the three. Bryant got 18 points in the game. That's his first three-pointer of the half. Remember, he did make one in the first half as well. Pass to Johnson. Johnson left side. Harris outside. Five to shoot. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. There's a screen. Lynn kicks to Young. Puts up a three. Again, Young missing. Well, in most games, he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. Really, last season was just the second step in the aftermath that was the Dwight Howard trade for the Magic. Still trying to find a direction and acquire building blocks, and that does take a little time. Now here's Lynn. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Kobe goes in. And Davis throws it down. What a beautiful pass to set that one up. The pass might have been pretty, but the finish, I thought, part angry. That's a heck of a combination. <laughs> pretty pass and an angry punch. I would call it an irate finish, even. Here's Oladipo. Missed inside. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. Here's Young. Outside, Lynn. Now Bryant. 18 points for him. Back to Lynn. Back to Bryant. Goes back up. Kicks it to Young. Lynn against Gordon. Back to Young. Goes up again. With one on the clock. He lays it in. Young's got nine points in the quarter. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. And Oladipo kicks to Vucevic. Back to Oladipo. Vucevic setting the pick for Oladipo. And the foul on Victor Oladipo. That'll be his second foul of the game. Great defense. He anticipated the play and got there first. Yeah, I think he got there in time. Nice play. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And a switcher also for Orlando. Prize checked in. The feet to Boozer. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Lakers winning the amnesty bidding this summer to bring in Carlos Boozer. He had a down season a year ago, but on the final year of his contract, he'll have some extra motivation to bounce back. Two shots. 
And for Carlos Boozer, weighed by the Bulls as they brought in Pau Gasol, but he can help this Lakers team. Yeah, you know, he certainly bolsters their front line, and as I said, in a contract year, he couldn't ask for a better stage to showcase his game than the bright lights of L.A. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Gordon's checked in for Vucevic, and Luke Ridnauer subbed in for Victor Oladipo. Now, here's Ridnauer. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. And that is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. Selman's no luck. He'll advise shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. The Lakers have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Two shots. First one falls for him. Well, Jordan Hill has battled injuries, but when he's played Clark, he's been pretty effective. You know, Kevin, last season, around 20 minutes per game, he played with the Lakers, and you could argue he should have been playing more. He was very productive in that time on the floor. He's more a banger than a spread for. He's not a great perimeter shooter. Um, so the fit with their spread out system uh, might have limited his playing time. Here's Fournier, and stolen by Russell. Here's Selmans, and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. Free throw good, Selmans. Orlando's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. On the wing, Johnson. Offensive rebound. Here's Gordon. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Los Angeles on top, running away with it. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Now Russell. Inside, it's Boozer and Hill. Salmon's up there with Russell. And it's Johnson in at the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now, here is Russell. Johnson can't hit. Well, I think he kind of alligator armed that one, short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Here's Ridenauer. Passes it to Gordon. Clock at six. Baseline J on the way. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Lakers shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Outside, Russell. Hill is green on Ridden. Russell kicks to Selmans. That three off the mark. And if they know what's good for him, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball into three-point territory. Well, you're right. Anything less than airtight defense on him will usually result in three points. And it's Gordon missing. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Here's Russell. Kicks it out to Johnson. And another shot. And Boozer puts it in. Boozer's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Lakers. And it's Orlando's ball. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. And here is Ridenauer. There's the dish to fry. Stolen by Boozer. Throws it up high. And the slam dunk by Johnson. 
A surreal alley-oop that time, partner. The pass, Clark, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. Yeah, and it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. Now, here's Fry. And play stops as it looks like they call it over the back here. I think we can all agree that the NBA has become a bit 